Hi everyone, welcome back to Business on the Beach with me, Mike. And this is all about productive versus busy. How many times have you heard this? Being productive versus busy. But this is a shorter episode. This is going to be a very, very short one because I'm going to break it down for you. I'm not going to give you any fluff at all on this episode because the biggest difference between being productive and being busy is direction. That is the key thing. Do you have a direction? If you do, then the actions that you do to move you towards that, in that direction, towards that ending, towards that goal, the amount of steps that you take every day, every hour, every week to move in that direction, towards that goal, towards that thing that you really want, that is how you measure how productive you are. Now, busy is also a good thing to a certain extent. Again, it's about how long do you spend being busy versus productive because not every step that you're going to take is going to be directly towards where you want to go. You might have to move sideways. You might have to do some organizing. You might have to send emails to people for, I don't know, collaborating with them, working with them, helping each other, whatever it is. That's not going to feel very productive in the moment but if things move if the needle moves if you make those steps if things happen for you maybe you've got to learn about a new way of doing business maybe you've got to learn something completely new so you've got to actually sit down and read articles on things go through webinars listen to industry experts on something that you don't know an awful lot about maybe you've got to do all that and maybe that doesn't feel productive but if you sit there and you say, I'm learning about this thing because it will help me do this, it will help me do that, it will move me towards where I want to go, then busy can become productive if you link it to where you want to go. So sometimes things don't feel productive. Things don't feel like they're helping. Things don't even feel like they're even worth doing. Because you've got to do another thing. You've got to give these things meaning, a big M word. You've got to go from direction and goals to meaning. You've got to give things meaning. Otherwise, you will never, ever feel like you're productive. You will never feel fulfilled by whatever it is that you're doing. You just won't feel it, not because of the actions that you're doing, but because of how they make you feel, because you don't feel like there's any meaning or purpose or direction with whatever it is that you're doing. The only person that can do that is you, because 10 people can do exactly the same things with their day, and only one of them would actually have connected with their direction, connected with the goal, connected with what they want. And that will be the person that will feel like they're productive. That will be the person that will feel like they're moving in the right direction as opposed to not moving or moving in the wrong direction. So you need to have a direction. You need to have purpose. You need to have meaning behind whatever it is that you're doing, which brings about, you need to know why. So the why, right, is a popular thing. It's been around for a long, long time. There have been books written about the why. There have been, people have built their entire careers, their entire professions around this one word. But I'm going to tell you that you don't need a massive why for the little things. You need a little reason for the little things. So why am I sending the email? Why am I doing the video? Why am I talking to this person? Why am I learning about this thing? What's the point? If you can answer that question for the little things and the big things, you will feel better. As we get older, as we go from, say, teenager to adults and then older adults, you will find the desire to know why, the desire to know the meaning behind something, the desire to know why we're doing whatever it is that we're doing becomes stronger because our brain processes the information and then we feel okay about doing it. We need to connect the dots as we age, as we get older and more mature. We need to connect the dots that are not originally connected before we can feel a point or any worth doing the thing. 
So knowing why, having a purpose, the meaning behind something, which tends to be linked to a direction or a goal or a reason that we have for doing this, having a business, achieving the goals in the first place, is very, very closely linked to our ability to feel productive and our ability to feel like we are moving in the right direction, that we're moving forwards rather than sideways. But if the sideways can be linked to, oh, maybe if I move sideways for a little bit, I could move forwards again, but it's better than staying still, you'll feel better about moving sideways. You can feel better about moving backwards if you understand why you're moving backwards and understand the meaning behind it and the purpose behind it. You can, you just will. I've had people go backwards for six months to then keep going forwards for the rest of their lives because they've understood that progress is progress no matter which direction it is. But how you feel about the direction that you're moving in is how you can have a massive influence over your ability to feel good about the direction you're moving in. Feel good about the actions that you're taking every day. Feel productive is about feeling good about whatever it is that you're doing. About feeling good about everything that I've spoken about so far. Do you feel good about the meaning behind something? Do you feel good about the purpose of something? Do you feel good about the reason why? Do you feel good about the goal? Do you feel good about the direction that you're moving it? Or not? That is that is literally how you feel like you're being productive over busy. Because busy is a word that not many people really use if they feel good about what they're doing. Hopefully that made sense. Let me know what you thought about the show. Share it. Write a review for me because I do read them whether it's a five star or otherwise. Hopefully you've enjoyed these ones. If you have any topics you want me to cover, then let me know. More than happy to do that. Lots of stuff going on with the podcast. Very, very, very grateful to have you here. Share it out. Tell people that you think will also benefit from these episodes. I'm going to do a whole heap of these now. Hopefully you'll come with me along the journey, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.